Good afternoon, and uh, thank you very much for your question. My name is Sun Zhezhou. I'm from the 5th Division of uh, the Aerospace Science and Technology Group. We are mainly engaged in design and production of the Mars and Moon probe. Me and my uh, team, we came up with the Chang'e number 1, number 3, number 4, and the uh, Moon probe, and also the Tianwe number 1 motion um, probe, pushing China to the leading position of the world in this area. In 2001, when China's uh, moon uh, exploration program just kicked off, I joined the Chang'e number one team to solve the 380,000 kilometers uh, super long distance telecommunication problem. At the time, I was just a young designer. Over the past 20 years, I have uh, uh, matured, and uh, thanks to the help and cultivation of uh, my predecessors, we have uh, undertaken our dream. As a practitioner in the aerospace industry, we have always remembered the historic mission entrusted on our shoulders by the party and the country. In the meantime, we felt that technological innovation and leapfrog development are very important to the uh, realization of our goals. And we studied very late, but we have to learn from those front runners. In the meantime, we cannot simply walk into others' journey and copycat others. We have to allow innovation to play a very important role. And Chang'e number three made important breakthroughs uh, and was able to load automatically, avoid obstacles, and survive the night on the moon. And Chang'e number nine has been working on the moon for nine years. And this is the longest amongst all the probes of mankind. In 2018, we deployed a relay satellite at the uh, Lagrinian L2 point, which is on the extension line of the Moon and Earth. Thanks to the relay satellite, we are able to uh, land for the first time successfully on the far side of the Moon. And this is the first time of the world. As you know that the far side of the Moon is a virgin land which cannot be directly observed from Earth. So the observation on the far side of the moon has enriched human knowledge about the moon. In 2021, Tianwen number one was the first to uh, conduct circling landing and patrolling on the Mars. If you compare with the other countries, they followed the approach of flying by, circling landing, and then patrolling. So we have the uh, confidence, thanks to the uh, technological strength of the country, and we also have the courage. On the Mars, there is a very thin layer of atmosphere, and to land on Mars, you have to solve the issue of aerodynamics and heat on the Mars. In the past, we were not well prepared in this regard. There is no available model, methodologies, or data, so we leveraged limited data and established our own model. By leveraging the re-entry experience on Earth, we accumulated data by repeating our tests and comparisons and corrections we managed to solve this problem. But this does not mean there is no risk in landing on the Mars. And in order to adapt to the uncertainties of landing on Mars, Tianwen number one adopted this uh, ballistic lift approach. By dropping a mass cube, we can uh, adjust the landing angle. So in 2011, this ballistic lift approach was officially adopted. Uh, the weight of the uh, mass cube was hundreds of kilos. By using the trim wing, we successfully adjusted the angle, and the cost is just one-tenth compared to the approaches of other countries. In 2013, Chang'e number three landed successfully on the moon. So we are on the moon, uh, but we're still very far from the Mars. In 2021, we landed on Mars, but we are still far away from our dream. In the future, we will make even greater contribution to China's aerospace program. Thank you very much.